Hi, my name is Dick Beaupre, and I am the founder and CEO of Kemont Company. Kemont was founded in 1976 in East Providence, Rhode Island, so that makes this year our 30th anniversary. In 1981, in conjunction with the White House Historical Association in Washington, D.C., we began a White House Christmas Ornament Program. That program has now become one of the largest in the world, and we have been manufacturing it for 25 consecutive years. In September, John Rosenberger came in here with his crew from the Travel Channel and filmed all day long, and they did a feature on Kemart and the manufacture of the White House ornament in December of 2005. We enjoyed it. It was a thrill for us, and it was a great honor. So I welcome you aboard, and I hope you enjoy the presentation. Thank you. I'm John Ratzenberger. On this Made in America, it's our special holiday show. We begin in Providence, Rhode Island, by looking for the perfect Christmas ornaments. Next, we go to Bayonne, New Jersey, and pick out a tree to hang them on. Artificial tree, that is, from holiday tree and trim. And then we travel to Pasadena to visit the granddaddy of all New Year's celebrations, the Rose Parade. I've been all over this great country, small towns and big cities, visiting factories and workshops, searching for the soul of America. And you know what? I found it everywhere. So sit back and relax, because we've got it made in America. There are some people for whom every day is Christmas, or at least they pretend it is. My old neighbor, Mrs. Hunyadi, the nicest, sweetest person you ever met, used to put up her decorations in August and take them down reluctantly in April. But her decorated Christmas tree, she'd have all the kids in the neighborhood hand make the things she hung up. And she kept that tree up all year round, and because she loved it, we all did. The true origins of the Christmas tree are somewhat in dispute, but there's no argument that, for at least 500 years, people around the world have been enjoying the lasting but simple pleasures of a tree decorated with ornaments, whether they're lighthearted or deeply meaningful. Here in America, some of our most expressive Christmas ornaments are made, fittingly, you could say, in Lincoln. Rhode Island, that is, along the Blackstone River country's first textile mills opened in the late 18th century. Today, Lincoln is home to the Kemart Company, which has been making collectible Christmas ornaments for three decades. Very proud to have you here. Thank Thanks. you. <laughs> yes, it's Christmas all year round here. What Kemart CEO Dick Beaupre means is that the company's single-minded focus is this single holiday. By the first workday after Christmas, Dick's employees will have already started on next year's ornaments. But these hand tooled decorations aren't your ordinary run-of-the-mill Santas and sleighs available just anywhere. They're actually custom designed for large organizations. Some of them really large. We got the Marine Corps here. Yep. The few, the proud, the Marines. Oh, look at this. Beautiful. Air Force, Navy, the Army. Yeah. Nice locomotive here. Oh, yeah. Santa and the locomotive. <laughs> Kemart's varied clientele for these intricate and elegant ornaments also includes the Red Cross in the state of Texas. When Dick started the company in the 1970s, it was to make and market custom photo etched jewelry by applying his skills as a trained chemist, which is how Kemart got its name. Did you invent that, the chemical process to, for the etching? I invented part of the chemical process. I invented the photographic film that is used to manufacture the photo etched product. We gradually, in the early 80s, began to switch to Christmas ornaments. That worked out much better than the jewelry business. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. In 1981, Kemart landed a major client. The White House Historical Association ordered a Kemart holiday design and has been ordering one annually ever since. In fact, the company has been the only manufacturer of the association's official ornament. This is the Hall of Fame. It represents every White House Christmas ornament we have produced beginning in 1981. Every one of these ornaments represents 
a particular president, beginning with George Washington, in series. So the only people that have these are the White House, then? No, sir. You can buy these through the White House Historical Association. The company makes a wide array of ornaments, like this one, which was designed to commemorate the arrival of the 21st century. Naturally, you don't have to work in the West Wing or even the East Wing to enjoy Kemart's handiwork. These things may look like they grow on trees, but that's because they're made by real artists, like Carlos Ferreira, who designed this year's Historical Association ornament. We sit down and just kind of like come up with ideas. We do it all on computer and then we print out a paper sample. Yeah, like they make a car out of clay first, right? They right. Do the... Kind of the same process, make sure everything works before you actually go to metal. Were you the guy in the back of the class doodling all the time? Yeah, I used to draw, but I never thought that I'd uh, end up as an artist. But artistically, I just kind of love doing this, so kind of uh, stuck with it. Yeah, go with what you love. Coming up on this special holiday edition of Made in America, the Kemart ornaments get ornamental. Then stay tuned to see a Christmas tree grow right before your eyes and a parade pass through a century of history. Welcome back to Kemart, the home of custom Christmas ornaments. We're going from paper design to final gold-plated product. It's as complicated as science itself. The first step in the process is to transfer artwork to metal, which is where the chemistry comes in. Paper-thin sheets of brass are rinsed clean and coated with light-sensitive film. The film is then placed under photo-safe light with the ornamental image laid on top. Now the brass is bathed in light. That's what transfers the image. But the process isn't over until a series of chemical baths washes away the unexposed brass, leaving only precise ornament shapes. And this is what you end up with. You end up with a the, the piece that is formed after the etching process. Now this blue film is going to be removed. Customer doesn't want this blue film. Yeah, because you want it to be shiny. Right. Now this is gonna go through this machine here and it's gonna be removed. It's called stripping off the photo recess. So you just put that on there? Yep. Put on Joe. You know what's great about your company? Come on. You, you know everybody's name. Oh yeah. yeah. You know? Well, these guys have been here for a long time. They really are. The strip sheet has to take a few more chemical baths. We're gonna first put nickel on it. That gives it a very high gloss and then go on top of the nickel. When that Christmas deadline starts getting close, the Kemart workers don't mind welcoming an extra set of helping hands. Take them out of here, into there. A quick dunk and a prep solution. We put it on that bar, this bar here in the right in the middle. That's it. And then we count over 12 seconds. Oh, look at what's happening. It looks like an Alka-Seltzer. Yes. What's going on? That's plating right now. So this is liquid it's gold? Yes, it is. There's gold. Lots of gold in there. After oh! Yeah. Look at this. Next, the ornaments are screen printed with color. What do you call this thing here? This is a mesh. It goes through the mesh only oh. where the image has been burned on. Gotcha. So just paint knows exactly where to go. Right. Every color has its own screen. The sheets are then dried and cured in an oven big enough to make a couple of hundred pizzas. The ornaments are freed from the sheets. Any rough edges are filed off. A hydraulic press bends them into shape. But assembly is done completely by hand. You put your gloves on, and then you put your finger cards over so you don't get fingerprints all over the metal. This is to keep the fingerprints? Yeah. So if I'm breaking into a safe, I, I want to be wearing this. Okay. You can take some with you if you want. No, nah, it's okay. Sure. So this goes on here? No. This one goes on there. Turn the piece around. No. Turn this around. Huh? <laughs> so that's there. No. This not tab right the, here? Yeah, but it's not in the hole. Oh, I see. These tabs here. Yeah. It's not so bad. So is that it? That's it. That's it. That's it. Huh? Hi. Huh? Good job. <laughs> Last stop here at the plant is the stringing table, so that the ornaments are ready to hang on a tree as soon as you get them home. If the workers here at Kemart seem unusually cheerful, it's not because they've been hitting the eggnog. It's because they know that what they do spreads goodwill to people they'll never even meet. In a way, they're all a little bit like Santa Claus. And who doesn't enjoy a visit from old St. Nick himself? Oh, my God, look at this. 
Such beautiful work. Thank you, everybody. Coming up on Made in America's Holiday Special. It may not be a real Christmas tree, but the feeling sure is. And stay tuned for a trip to Pasadena that will change the way you watch the Rose Parade. Our journey continues next time on Made in America.